to put in a patient's payment. There are two ways to do this. The first is if the patient is paying by credit card, and if you have the credit card integration with Asper Dental, you'll be able to take the credit card directly from the patient's ledger, and the payment will automatically show up on the ledger. The second way is to put in the payment by hand. So this is if you're taking a credit card and you do not have the integration, then you can run it on the terminal separately and then put it in by hand, the same way that you would put in a check or cash or care credit payment separately by hand. So we will go over both examples, starting with the integrated credit card processing. So if you do have that module, you'll click on the green dollar sign, select payment, put in the dollar amount, and then choose your location. If you have a credit card terminal, you'll send it to the credit card terminal, and you can also choose the option to type in the credit card number by hand. Once the payment is processed, you'll get a green check mark to confirm, and we have a couple options to allocate our payment and link it to procedures. You can either link it to automatically apply it to the oldest balance, meaning the procedures that are furthest away from today, um, the oldest balance on the ledger. The newest balance are the procedures that are the most recent, so the newest procedures on the ledger. You can also select the procedures by picking them by hand. And the fourth option is to leave your payment as a credit on the ledger. We recommend do not use this unless the patient is paying prepaying for procedures that have not been done yet. You will always want to link your payments to procedures. And the reason is because if you do not link your payments, then the balance will not add up correctly on a patient's ledger and the statements. So in this example, I'm going to choose the option to select my procedures by hand to say that they're we're paying off these procedures specifically, and then click on save. The computer will automatically allocate for you how much goes toward what, but I can change this if I would like and make it 122, for example, and then put $10 here. As long as the patient paid column adds up to the total of what the patient paid on their card. So we wanna make sure that this dollar amount is the same that you got charged for. If you have it as a different total, it will not be able to be saved. So just make sure the total adds up and then click save. You'll have a statement pop up automatically, which will be a receipt of the credit card that was taken from the patient today. So you can print this out for the patient if they need it. The second example is to add a payment by hand. We'll do that by clicking on this blue add item button. We have a new blank line item and you can type in your payment code if you know it. If you do not know your payment codes, you can click on the little triangle in the corner to pull up a list of all of the payment codes available. So you can go through and add any of the credit card codes or cash or check payments. I'm going to do a check payment for this example and put in the dollar amount of what the patient is paying by check. After you put in the dollar amount, press enter on your keyboard to save the $100 here. And then this screen will pop up again where you can choose to apply it to the oldest balance, the most recent procedures, or pick your procedures. Since we picked last time, I'm just going to do newest balance this time. And you'll see how it automatically applies it toward the newest procedures. And again, I can change anything in the patient paid column if I want to, and just make sure it adds up to the dollar amount that we put in for what we received. And then click on save, and you'll see that now with the exam and the profi are both paid off because they're in gray, the bite wings are not, and we can see what the patient paid toward each of these procedures. I can put in the check number by clicking on this note here, and put in check number, or just any general notes about the payment too. Now for this patient's balance of $50, we can generate a statement for them. The easiest way is to do a today statement that will automatically generate today's procedures that you can just print out. Now we also have the option to do a custom statement that we are able to text and email to our patients. 
On a custom statement, you can choose specifically what procedures or line items you want to appear on the statement, and then click on Create Statement to pull up what the patient will see. The total balance and the balance due, sometimes they will be different because the balance due is the balance from the procedures that you selected on the previous screen. The total balance is the entire ledger balance as a whole. So if the patient has a balance from procedures that you did not select, then their total balance might be higher than the balance due. If you scroll down, you can see what the patient is paying toward. So on the exam, the, it was $50, the patient paid $50, there's a $0 balance on it. But on the bite wings, $82, $32 was paid, so the $50 balance is coming from the bite wings. We can send the statement by text or by email. And if you have the integrated credit card module, then the patient will also receive a link to pay their statement online, and the credit card payment will show up on the ledger automatically. But if you do not have the integration, then they'll still receive the text or email just with a PDF of their statement. And of course, you can print the statement for the patient from the computer. It'll open up a new tab. Just click on the print icon to send it to your printer, and you are done.